Hey, what's going on, my dirty children? It's your man, Hey Crack. It's time for Hey Crack After Hours. Now, this one I call the quickie episode. Why? Because I had to hurry up and get it out quick. Because, you know, the hip-hop game evolves fast and there's a lot going on right now. Maybe you heard, maybe you didn't hear. But Pusha T from Eclipse has a brand new album out called Daytona. And with the release of the album Daytona, I was lucky to score an interview with Pusha T the day before the album dropped. Now, the following day, if you didn't know, oh man, there was a record on there called Infrared that had the streets talking because he was shooting those fly subliminals at Drake and the whole Cash Money team. The same day his album dropped, Drake drops a record called Duppy, and all of a sudden the internet is like, you know, wilding out, tripping, flipping, talking about their team Drake. Then shortly after that, like two, three days later, Pusha T drops another record Going at Drake super direct, and this time all the gloves were off and super personal. So because this interview happened before all those things happened, a lot of those things don't get discussed. But what you do get is a little bit of the uh, mythology which went behind putting this project together, and also a little bit of the future timeline of what's going on with good music. So sit back, relax, enjoy this quickie. It's Head Crack After Hours. Push your T's on deck. What up? Yes, what up, what up, family? How y'all doing? Yo, we're doing great over here, and, and congratulations on delivering another masterpiece. Yo, Thank you. Hearing that's what they're calling it. They're calling it a masterpiece. I hear that. I say this all the time. Cosigns and hip-hop are everything. Nas doesn't open his door and say much about much. But he you know, not. <laughs> but Nas is saying the album is a classic. Um, you know, a lot of uh, you know people in journalism and media are saying that as well. How do you keep outdoing yourself? Man, um, you know, I think I look, I think I look at hip hop uh, 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 a different way. <clears throat> um, when I when I view hip hop, I view it as a whole culture, man. And I don't think that that culture, as long as you stay relevant in all of those pieces. You know, when I think about my favorite artists, I wanted to look like them. I wanted to rap better than them. I wanted to dress like them. I wanted to be on top of the things uh, first. It was competitive. I feel like if you don't lose that edge, you know, you'll always keep outdoing yourself. And, and that's what I strive to do every time. Hip-hop is a lot like art that you would go see in a museum, right? Yes, yes. Whereas a lot of times people don't necessarily get appreciated for what they do when it drops. Because even going all the way back to the Clips projects, these projects were always better than what sales would reflect. But at the end of the day, the respect within the culture was already, always there because the people that got it got it. You know what I mean? Right. How does that make you feel when you when you know you have a billion dollar talent, but sometimes don't get the same results? You know, coming from what I'm from and, and and what I've been a part of, you take every day as a blessing. I mean, the fact that I'm sitting here doing something that I love, um, you know, hey man, you know, I may not have, I may not have, uh, you know, a thousand platinum plaques, but you know, it, it, it's a blessing to be able to do something that I love, provide for my family, provide for my friends. Not everybody's supposed to, to have a billion dollars at the same time, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and, and that's how I look at it. It's, it, it's uh, I take it with a grain of salt, man. As long as my core fan base uh, keeps being serviced and, and they keep being fed and they keep supporting, I, I, I'll never look down on this on any of these moments. Yo, and in addition to crafting your own, you know, opuses, you're also assigned with the task of overseeing the whole good music label. And there's right. a lot of heavy hitters on that. So is there more pressure doing your project or is there more pressure making sure, you know, the new Kanye record comes out on time or, yeah. or, or you know, or Big Sean's record comes together the way it's supposed to? It, it's not. It, it's way more pressure overseeing other projects. You know, with, with with my projects, you have to understand that it's never. I don't put time limits on myself anymore. Hence, the the title the title Daytona the title Daytona is because the Rolex Daytona is my favorite watch, and I felt like I felt like the word Daytona and 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 how I love that watch speaks to me having the luxury of time. So I don't put time constraints on my own self. I you know I do it as it comes. You know, I you know I put together a strong body of work that I'm proud of, and if that takes two years, three years, one year, or six months, that's what it took. As far as everybody else, every I don't not everybody lives by that same uh, mode or mantra. You know, they they don't they don't they don't they don't live by those uh, by those rules. So having to work within those confines is, is a little different. And we know you've been cooking in the in the lab for a minute. 
and, and what you brought to the table was a magnificent seven. You know, thank which, you. Which dates back to you know, which goes back to a time in hip hop where like albums weren't really that long. And yeah. it, it gave you a time to really pre- appreciate the music a little bit more because it's more of a short, concise body of work. Now, granted, I haven't got a chance to hear the whole thing. I've, I've heard snippets from people playing things at your parties in New York, uh, you know, when you was on your promo run or whatnot. But are these like seven songs that are normal length or they're seven songs, but somehow the album is still an hour long? It's a very short, very short album. I want to say, it's, what is it, 27 minutes? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, somewhere around 27 minutes. It's it's seven seven songs straight to the point, and I, I feel like in 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 good music fashion, you know, we do everything that's against the grain. While everybody's putting out these twenty song albums, eighteen song albums, and you know, uh, uh, and, and people are doing that. People, I look at it as people sacrificing the art for for the numbers sometimes, because you know, the more the more songs that helps you in streaming and your streaming numbers and sales. Okay. Um, I feel like a good music. We're going against the grain. We're doing we're doing what we're uh, true to, pure pure and true to, and just making sure that we have the best body of work. On top of that, you have to remember that there are this month there are five albums coming out, all produced by Kanye West from top to bottom. Mine being the first one. So you know that's thirty five that's thirty five records that one man is really doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know that that. You know, just just and being mindful at the process of what you're getting, and and you're getting high taste level, high quality, top tier art. This is um, it's a lot. It's a lot being given. So seven seven is definitely definitely it, it, it's enough, and I feel like the fans are gonna feel like it's enough. Now now push a T. If you was to uh, describe your album with a restaurant name that's popular that people know, what restaurant is your album? My album is um, Matsuhisa. I'm at to Google and, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you the science real quick. Okay. My album, my album is Matsuhisa, and Matsuhisa is the is the actual first Nobu. What everybody knows is Nobu. Okay. You know, I actually just read about Nobu today. Or Robert De Niro's okay. part owner of that, right? Exactly. Now, the, now, now he Robert De Niro is part of the chain. Matsuhisa is the father of that chain. Okay. High taste level luxury drug rap. <laughs> I love it. I freaking yeah. love it, man. And yo, man, and, and throughout your history, man, you had a chance to work with a lot of dope producers, man. Like, I mean, you know, you're one of the few people that could walk around here saying that, yo, I had entire albums produced by Pharrell. I've had entire albums, you know, produced by Kanye West. How different is the work ethic or the thought process between working between those two guys? Um, you know, it, it's a, it's a very different process. Um, you know, me, me and Pharrell, me and Pharrell work together in a very, um, in a very, uh, student to teacher type of relationship, me being a student. I, 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 I treat both of them like that because that's just how I look. That's how I look at the music. I feel like production is what motivates me. Okay. So I, I take a, I take a back seat. You know, the lyrics and, and, and the, the, the writing craft takes the back seat to the production to me because that's what inspires me. Um, you know, they, they, they have two different processes, man, and, 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 it, and it's, it's a lot to go into. But um, you, I, I feel like you get a great result from both of them. Love it. Now, you, you, your writing process, as it is, man, is very very straightforward, but also very cerebral Cold War. And uh, like very noted was your, your battles with Cash Money, you know, going at, you know, like Lil Wayne and Drake. On on this new album, is there any smoke for anybody on, on this new one that we need to be aware of? Man, some, some, lines, yeah. some lines we need to lean in and listen to a little closely. Listen, man, it's only 20, 20 plus minutes. I feel like, man, Daytona will be out. Y'all should go get that and, and listen to it. This is for the connoisseurs of fine rhyme. Check it out. Y'all let me know. My brother, I can't wait. Now, real quick before you go, uh, shout out to you for not only just selling like a product, a project, if you will, but you're also selling the brand. You got new merch at shop.kingpush.com. Yes. Shop.kingpush.com. You can get my new merch there. You can also get the hard copies of the album as well as vinyl. I'm actually going to jump on there and support the culture because I, I really <laughs> I, I really respect and appreciate what you and your brother do, man. You and Malice will 
so talented. All the way even going back to the, the funeral song, man. Yeah, like way back you, in the day, the white labels on electric, got caught dealing and all that good yes, stuff, man. Yes. We've been along for this ride for so long, man. And it's just good to see you still in it. It's good to see your brother still in it in a different department. But you guys are still pushing the culture forward and we love it. Yes, we are. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate the support. No doubt, Push It T. So real quick before you go, uh, when Kanye West uh, you know, had that video about a week or so ago with him making beats, there was like five whiteboards on there. Yours was one of them. We're getting that on time. Uh, there was uh, him and Kid Cudi's collaborative project, Kid See Ghost. What's that sounding like? Man, Kid See Ghost is, is amazing. Um, I, 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 think, I think that you guys are going to be in for a treat and y'all are going to see the difference between, you know, high taste level production, high taste level music, and what's going on today. Got Compare it. it all. I, we love it all. Compare it all, though. Okay. Also, notably, there was a, a, a white boy in the background that had Nas's name on it. Now, is this yes, to say did. that Nas is having a whole Kanye West produced album? Yes, 100%. Nas is definitely having a whole Kanye West produced album. What? Um, I, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been in the studio with him um, for a few weeks now, and uh, Nas is definitely doing his thing. Nas, Nas sounds like Nas 2028. <laughs> oh, man. Is this seven songs, too, or are you giving us a full plate? Oh yeah, yeah, seven songs as well. Everybody, seven songs. It's the God number. There was another, there was another billboard on the far right. Was that Big Sean? That was Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor. What's that yeah. sounded like? Yo, I, I, I feel like Tiana Taylor is going to have the album of the year. But I'm going to let y'all tell me that. His new album is out today. He go by the name of King Push, a.k.a. Push the T. The album is called Daytona. Be sure you pick it up and get some of this culture and get some of this merch at shop.kingpush.com. Yeah. No doubt, big shout out to Pusha T and the whole Good Music fan, man. Can't wait to hear these projects when they drop. And listen, if this is your first head crack after hours you ever heard, go back through the timeline. Check out the rest. Click it. Give it five stars. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Share with your enemies. We're going to rinse, repeat. Be back again soon. Head crack after hours. Ghost.